I'm going to install this uh, Corsair Hydro Cooler um, H100 today into a gaming uh, PC. Um, this PC it has um, Intel socket 1366 second generation but as you see this uh, cooler is support uh, all different types of uh, Intel or AMD uh, socket. So as you see here we have the radiator this is the hose adjust this it can move around so basically we will have this set up this way that's the installation uh, quick guide as you see it has the Intel side and you have the AMD at the other side the screws you will use it comes with the hydro cooler and that's the fan I'm going to use Noctia because I have a Noctia with the case the motherboard we have is Asus Rampage 3 Extreme and you can see it's already installed and we have two GTX 590 graphic card 6 gig DDR3 Corsair RAM and that's where the cooler uh, CPU we will uh, fit so you can see it comes with the thermal compound so you don't really need additional third party uh, thermal paste you can use this you don't need to take the motherboard out of your computer to uh, fit this uh, hydro cooler uh, CPU. As you see, I mounted the base for this cooler at the back of the motherboard, and we have those four holes. I didn't remove the motherboard. You can see the four holes. I already put the screws, so it's easy to install this hydro cooler. I don't think I will be able to use the three fans. As you see, it can fit two fans, 120 millimeter easily. I just turned the computer on now. Installed the Corsair cooler. As you see, it's fit nicely. We have the power for four fans attached to the CPU cooler. It attached to the CPU, as you see here, a CPU fan and also there is at the back the power attached to the power supply now those four fans at the top as you see the radiator is in the middle and we have those two here and there's another two at the top this is to blow the air out from the top and at the back this one is to blow the air inside that's the BIOS I'm just looking now to show you the power hardware let's go here hardware monitor I didn't do any changes to the default for this motherboard um, and you can see the temperature is just 33 32 which is good so that's it all the information for this product are below so let me know what you think and thank you for watching